Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition Scenario Editor tutorial. Since uh, you all have been asked how to do infinite resources, so um, infinite gold piles, farms, trees, uh, fish, stone mines and all that jazz. And I am going to show you two different tricks how to achieve that. R really basic stuff, but uh, it might be helpful nonetheless. So, we have these two triggers here. The first one works for the farms. It is looped, that's important. There's a timer of 10 seconds. And after those 10 seconds, all of player 1's farms get replaced with Gaia farms. And in the second effect, they are directly being replaced back from a Gaia farm to a player 1 farm. They are replaced and not converted. The difference is in that that the food count will reset once it gets replaced, so this means the farm will never run out of food. This allows you to have those farms uh, last infinitely. Now I've tried to use this on trees and gold mines and th th thus, but sadly it did not really work. So I thought of something else there, it is even easier. I just modified the attribute of an acacia tree, in this case the dead unit AI, so for example for a normal unit when it dies, then a body will lie there and then it will return a skeleton and so on. But you can change what it turns into. So, for example, you can have a man at arms, which when it dies becomes a militia or something. But in this case, here's the item ID of the acacia tree. And this is the dead unit ID I set it, it to. So, in this case, these two are similar. So, every time a acacia tree gets destroyed, a new one will spawn at that position. Keep in mind that this does not allow you to do any cutting with onagers since the trees will respawn right away, but using onagers to cut trees is something rarely used in scenarios anyway, so uh, this should work for the most cases. And of course this also works with goldmine, the dead unit AI of the goldmine, in this case is ID66, is 66 as well. That should be easy enough. Let's give it a quick test. So, better use Aegis. So, now we actually see there is resource being depleted. So, you see here the farm. There we go. Went down to 110, I think. It uh, gets reseeded every few seconds. You see here the trees, they are cutting them down really, really quickly due to the Aegis cheat. But once it should be gone, a new tree will spawn. And there we go, a brand new gold pile spawned here. So of course there is also the attribute uh, amount of first resource. But that is a little bit tricky to use since it uh, only works on objects they spawn in afterwards. So if, for example you could also just modify the amount of gold per pile to 10,000 but then you kind of would need to for each pile of gold you would need a trigger uh, an effect for each tree where you would need an effect so this here is the let's say most cost efficient way to implement those things so of course this should also work for stone mines for fishing and uh, any other type of resources you would want of course, uh, you could also change the dead unit AI of a farm to another farm, but in that case, it could cause some problems because an AI would never be able to uh, destroy a farm, so they would basically infinitely be stuck on one farm to try to destroy it, and uh, that would not really be very helpful. Okay, so this has been all for today. Really s simple trick here, but yeah, might be helpful nonetheless, as already mentioned. If you have any more questions regarding the editor, feel free to post that in the description I might uh, well do another tutorial about that if it is something I think is interesting and something I managed to do in the editor as well so anyways uh, thanks for watching thanks for being around and yeah I hope this could be helpful to you and see you next time goodbye <laughs>